In this video, we're going to look at the difference between acidic, basic, and neutral solutions. And you might be tempted to immediately jump in to talk about pH. And uh, we'll see that eventually pHs of less than 7 correspond to acidic at room temperature. But if you're at another temperature, that statement doesn't hold. And so technically, the definition of an acidic solution is one where the concentration of the hydrogen ion is bigger than the concentration of the hydroxide ion. Or we can write that hydrogen ion as the hydronium ion if we want to do it more properly. And if we've got a basic solution, it is the inverse. So the concentration of the hydrogen ion is less than the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And if we've got a neutral solution, then they are exactly equal to one another. So in a neutral solution, these concentrations are identical. And this is the true definition of whether solutions are acidic, basic, or neutral. We'll see that pH can be used also, but pH values are going to change depending on temperature. Those cutoffs are not always going to be equal to 7. So be careful. So that seems simple enough. Now, what happens if we're just given one concentration? So for instance, if we're told the concentration of the hydronium ion is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, and all throughout the section, I'm going to assume I'm at 25 degrees C. So I can use that Kw of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. How do we know if this is acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, we need to calculate the concentration of hydroxide, and we need to compare it, right? If this is bigger than this, it's basic. If they're the same, it's neutral. And if this one's the bigger one, it's acidic. But we don't know this concentration yet, but we can sure solve for it using the expression Kw. So Kw at room temperature, again, if we're not told, we're going to assume we're at room temperature is equal to 10 to the minus 14, and that is the product of those two concentrations. So if we want to find the concentration of OH minus, we just rearrange, so it is Kw over the concentration of H plus, and at this point here we can plug in the value, so 1 times 10 to the minus 14 over, what are we given, 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Remember in equilibrium constants we drop the units. Now you can reach for a calculator or you can just subtract those powers, minus 14 on the top, minus 3 on the bottom. If you take minus 14, minus minus 3, that is minus 11. So 1.0 times 10 to the minus 11. And again, we got to put the units in on the end, so that is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 11 moles per liter. And we can see now that this is a smaller concentration, so this is smaller than the concentration of H+. plus, So we must have, what do we have? Yeah, that's right, we have an acidic solution because the concentration of H+, plus is much, much bigger than the concentration of OH-. minus. So don't be fooled, the exponent is bigger, but it's minus 11 compared to minus 3, so that's actually eight orders of magnitude smaller. So that's 100 million times smaller than this one here. So that's why it's an acidic solution.